Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Hannah and I do sell budgeting stickers for planners. So all of the stickers that you see in this planner today and in this video are made by me and I will have my Etsy shop LML stickers linked in the description box below. But let's head right into this video. First of all, I am obviously so, so sorry, and I feel like I have been saying this for so many weeks, that I have not posted, and I've kind of left you guys in the dark. I just went MIA. I have actually been extremely sick. So I know that I've been saying this a lot, but I honestly have been sick since October 7th. It is um, Monday, January 22nd when I'm recording this. I'm not kidding when I say I have been sick straight since the beginning of October. It has been sinus infections, really bad colds to the point where I, ha I thought I had COVID a couple times. Um... I've had upper respiratory infections a couple times. I've had sinus infections that just won't even, they literally can be cured. I have been on amoxicillin more times than I can count on both of my hands. Um, it just, nothing has worked. And honestly, December was the worst month that I was. I, I mean, even just a couple weeks ago, I had the stomach bug. It's just been awful this season. And if you don't know, if you are new here or you don't know, I am a full-time toddler teacher. So I am constantly around sick children, um, which is why as soon as our doors close for the winter time and we can't go outside anymore, we get sick so often it's not even funny. But enough with my rambling. I don't want to just have this whole video be about how I'm sick all the time. I just wanted to give that little brief summary of why I've been MIA. So I actually just caught up on my budget and I wasn't doing this budget and then just not sharing it with you guys. I literally did December and January budget last week. So honestly, I think I might have done, yeah, I did week one with you guys, or at least I did week one before I started feeling really, really terrible. Um, but I did close out the budget and everything. So I figured I would make this video to catch you up on where the budget is looking and whatnot. So to start, we'll start with income. Ethan did get a small Christmas bonus, so he did make um, 448.46 more than what we were planning. So he ended up having 3,348.46 cents um, be deposited this month. I had 1,989.86 deposited, so that was 89.86 more than we were budgeting for. Our actual income for the month was 5,338.32, so 538.32 more than what we were expecting, which is always good. I always try to estimate for the lowest amount coming in rather than expecting more and expecting a bonus or whatever the case may be and then having it not come. I would rather not bank on that. Um, but anyways, let's move down to our variable expenses. So groceries, and this is why I'm just going to tell you right now, this is the exact reason why I tell you guys, uh, weekly check-ins. So weekly budgeting is so crucial and important for your monthly budget. Because like I said, I did not budget at all for the rest of December other than that first week and you can really see it in these numbers compared to like our normal budgets. If we're over budget, normally I can tell you why or I can, you know, pinpoint what the actual expense was for what made us go over budget, but we are so far over budget in this budget that it is just insane. 
Anyways, groceries, we were over budget by $103.15. We spent $428.15. Household, we were actually under budget, which is always really good, and that surprised me. We budgeted $50. We only spent $37.63, so we were under budget by $12.37. Eating out, this is where it really got us, and it, I do know that we ate out more because I was sick, um, but to see that our eating out was $228.34 over budget, and we spent over $350 on eating out, I was totally disgusted by this, especially because we were over $100 over budget on groceries, so I don't know where all of this food went and you know, all of that type of stuff. So this is what really frustrates me. Um, and this is where I was really like, I, I know I was sick and it really stinks, but this is really why we should have still stuck to weekly budgeting, even though I didn't feel that well. Pets, we were actually under budget by 54.45, surprisingly. Um, so we spent 115.55. Gas for the cars, we were $14.75 under budget. We spent $110.25. Allowances, we were over budget by $26.47, which means that we spent $126.47. Credit cards, um, we were over budget by $196.65. So if you guys have been around for a while, you know that whatever we put on our credit cards, we immediately pay off the next month. Um, I just added on like a TJ Maxx, um credit card. Not for any particular reason, I just go there a lot. So I used it so I could start gaining um, rewards. I really like to go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls for like Christmas presents and birthday presents and stuff just because I feel like I can get a more personalized gift there or something that somebody would like more than something that I could get at Walmart and stuff and they can literally see what I paid for it and everything else. So I like to go there so I figured because I go there so often I'll get the credit card and again whatever I put on it that month I always pay off. So there are some times or like I have a Kohl's credit card I never shop at Kohl's though and so I think in this past like in November I shopped at Kohl's and Marshall's and I just forgot when I was budgeting for our credit cards that I had those two credit cards as well to pay off. So that's where that $200 over budget came from, but it's still frustrating. So, um, yeah. Anyways, let's move on. Car insurance, we budgeted $135. We spent $131.99, so we were $301 under budget. And then unbudgeted was 375 cents so we were obviously over budget by 375 cents the majority of this is because I paid off my phone in December and that alone was 275.75 and then because of all of the traveling that we did for the holidays we were on the throughway a lot so our easy pass um, had to be recharged um, and every time that gets recharged, it's $25. So that's where all of that money came from. So we did budget $1,630 and we ended up spending $2,478. So we were almost $800 over budget this month, which to me, again, is just so absolutely insane. Our potential savings was um, originally $332.75 and honestly we should have saved closer to like $800 in this actual part. Sorry you guys couldn't see. Um, I'm talking down here. This was our potential savings and then you know we got an extra $500 so we should have really had this actual savings. We should have actually been around um, like 800 bucks, but we were so far over budget that we only saved just over a hundred dollars, which is honestly not that great. Moving on to sinking funds. So there was obviously a lot of money spent in sinking funds this past month because of 
Christmas. So that's where the majority of this is going to come from. So baby, we added in 10. We didn't spend anything, so we're ending with $1,066.77. Car maintenance, we put in $10, spent nothing. We're ending that with $678.65. Christmas, we were starting with 802.86. We added in 80, but we spent 1,137.74 cents. So we are technically in the negative. However, I will explain something in just a moment with this. So right here it says ending is negative 254.88. Like I said, we'll come back to this in just a moment. Ethan for clothing we added in 25 he spent nothing he's ending 128.67 for my clothing we added in 25 spent nothing ending with 40.92 entertainment we added in 30 spent nothing ending with 49.39 gifts we added in 30 we actually spent 60 because it was Ethan's brother's birthday so we're ending with 66.39 house we added in a hundred dollars but we actually spent three hundred and forty one dollars and eighty nine cents we did buy a bunch of um paint we are gonna repaint our entire house the inside not the outside maybe the outside next year but the inside for right now so we're ending with four thousand six hundred forty eight thirty nine medical we put in 15 i ended up spending 34.90 on either co-pays or prescriptions all together. I do have like some outstanding balances that we will see in January because I did go to the doctor and buy a lot of prescriptions within this time period. However, there's something weird with my insurance. So they don't charge me co-pays because they, for whatever reason, my insurance has like two different co-pays. Um, for the doctor's office so they never know what to charge me and so they just always say well let's see what what the insurance company actually charges you and like they'll send you a bill in the mail so I've paid a couple of them and we'll see those in next month's um, budget so I am ending with 6707 for medical pets we added in 25 ending with 686.79 Millie actually did get surgery and I do still have to add that in. So this number is technically not correct right now, but we're going to fix everything in January. There's a lot of fixing to do with the with these budgets um just because of how many weeks I missed and whatnot. Then vacation, we added in 25, spent nothing, so we're ending with 955. So we were adding in a total $375 this month. We spent a total of $1,574.53 this month. So our ending balance is $8,133.16. So I've gotten this question a couple times and I've answered it in the comments. People always ask me, what account do we keep our sinking funds in? So Ethan and I have our checking account and then we have a savings account. So I keep our sinking funds in a savings account. So at the end of every month, um, you could do this a couple different ways. The way that I used to start it was every single month at the beginning of the month, I would transfer from our checking to our savings, whatever we were adding that month. But I decided in the last few months that I'm going to wait until the end of the month because what would end up happening is a month like this, I would add in 375 okay? So that comes out of our checking account. But then we end up spending 15 over $1,500. So then I have to transfer money back from our sinking funds back to our checking because we're obviously using our debit card to pay for this which is through our checking account. Hopefully this makes sense, but I just figured that instead of doing two transfers, that we just do one. So for instance, this month, we would be taking 1574.53 
And then we're going to subtract 375 because I technically haven't added that to the sinking funds yet. So we ended up spending this money already. We owe this money. So we're going to take what we already spent, subtract out what we owe. And then that means that the sinking funds, our savings account, would technically owe our checking account $1,199.53. So normally I would do that. However, the last three months since I got sick in October, I have not kept up with that. So then every other month or every couple months, I go in and I check to make sure that our ending balance here matches what my savings account balance says. So here you see that our ending balance is $8,133.16. However, when I went to go true it up, our savings account balance was actually at $12,212.53. So what I did here is I wrote down our savings account balance. I subtracted out what I have accounted for in our sinking funds now, which left us with just over $4,000 that's not accounted for. Now I could always say that that would be our emergency fund, but honestly, I look at sinking funds as our whole emergency fund. If there's a true emergency, all of these categories don't matter. They're all just nice to have, but they don't matter. As soon as, like, say we had an emergency, like, we had a really bad windstorm here. Say, I, I mean, knock on wood, but say a tree fell on our house. That's an emergency. Yes, we have insurance and whatever, but I don't know. Say, hypothetically, a tree fell on our house and the roof needed to be repaired. And the insurance was giving us a hard time and they wouldn't pay for it. That's a true emergency. All of these accounts, they don't matter. The categories, they don't matter. They're nice, but that's a true emergency and we have money set aside in a savings account. We would use that. We would use all of this to pay for whatever we needed. That's our emergency fund. So instead of saying that that 4,000 is just sitting there as an emergency fund, instead of adding it somewhere, I don't know. I just, like I said, see the whole account being an emergency fund and I just break it down. And this money is there in case we need or want to use it for certain things. We don't go above and beyond and spend a, a ton of money. The only category that we'd really do that with is house and Christmas. And honestly, I would do just those two sinking funds if I really wanted to. I mean, all these other ones could be added to the budget. However, I like to break up our sinking funds. Anyways... So our leftover is just over $4,000. In January, I'm putting in $415. So instead of transferring money from our savings to our checking, I decided that I still owe that $415 technically for January. So I'm subtracting it out of what's left over. So that gives me $3,664.30. 37 cents to still work with. So I went on my computer and I made up a Google spreadsheet and I listed out all of these sinking funds. I listed out the beginning, the everything that you see here, I listed it all out. And then I said, which accounts need the most? So I ended up adding to Christmas to get that above the negative. I think I ended up adding to our clothing, entertainment, gifts, maybe some medical, maybe some pets, maybe some vacation, but I know at least 2,500 of that went towards the house. Cause like I said, I mean, we're doing a lot of work to the house, but in previous videos I have mentioned that 
the previous homeowners replaced everything all at the same time. They re replaced everything, the water, the hot water heater, the um, furnace, the roof, all of that was replaced in 2005. So we were told by like 2025, we would probably need a new roof, a new furnace, and a new water tank. Um, so obviously all of that is pretty expensive. I mean, we could be looking at spending anywhere between like 15 and 20 grand. So we really should be saving more for the house, but we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> um, we do already add to the house account and everything, so I'm not too concerned about it. And like I said, if that actually came down where there was a leak in our roof tomorrow, we would end up using everything that was in our, our savings instead of prioritizing, you know, the hypothetical baby that we might have or clothing for Ethan and I. We can definitely figure that stuff out. So I just wanted to explain that to you guys a little bit. Now moving on to January just to catch you guys up. This is what our budget is looking like. So I estimated Ethan for $2,900. He should still be somewhere around this because even though he did get a raise, he is actually putting more money towards his retirement. So in the end, it ended up evening out and still being around the same amount of money that he was used to bringing in. So we're not worried there. For myself, I actually did get a dollar raise and I completely forgot to even add that in here. So I still put myself at 1900 even though I should be at 20, like 2000 or 2100 Other is just for any sort of returns or, you know, if I babysit or if I pay myself from uh, the sticker business. So our total income that we're expecting is $4,800. Groceries, we have our sweet spot of $325 when we actually like follow what we need, you know, uh, planning meals every week and then going to the grocery store and buying just those things. That is really our sweet spot is $325. Household, $50 is about our sweet spot. Eating out we are trying to cut back so i'm still doing 125 i would love to get that down to even like a hundred or eighty dollars a month because i would love to like meal prep and everything else with our grocery money rather than eating out pets is usually around 170 gas for the cars we're keeping at 100 allowances we always do 100 credit cards I'm sure that this is off because I'm still not used to the whole like TJ Maxx card and everything, but I am banking on or budgeting for $365. Again, it's probably going to be over, but we'll see. Car insurance is usually around $131, but sometimes it can vary, so I like to keep it at $135. Our phones, normally I have over in our fixed expenses. However, because I paid it off last month, I'm putting it over here because when I paid it off, the guy described to me that basically, like, even though I paid it off, phone bills are typically a month behind. So he said that it might show a higher number this month than what it will in February, even though I paid it off in December. I don't know, I could be explaining that totally wrong, but I just decided, okay, you know, this is what Ethan and I will should be paying in January, but I don't for sure know, so that's why I put it in the variable expenses in case the actual was different from what I was budgeting. Then it was my birthday on the 18th, so four days ago, so I budgeted $50, which we already went over budget for that, and that's because that's totally my fault. I totally thought that I budgeted a hundred dollars for it but I ended up only budgeting 50 so we are over budget for that already but it's all right 
And then unbudgeted is zero. So we did budget for $1,513.34 for our variable expenses. Now quickly over here, our fixed expenses, they stay the same every single month. So I don't really, I mean, we set this up and whatever and we get the total number from it. Obviously it's a big part of our budget, but I don't spend too much time with it because everything's the same and exactly what I put here is exactly what comes out. So our mortgage is $947.85, my Jeep is $557.19, Ethan's Jeep is $500, Spotify Premium is $14.99, Hulu Live plus e I think ESPN or Red, like NFL Red Zone or something like that equals out to $86.98. Verizon, which is our internet, is $69.99, which I'm going to double check this, but I'm pretty sure that they raised the price on that. Um, NYSEG this month is $240.43, so that's New York State Electric and Gas. Um, it's what, you know, keeps our lights on and heat in our home. Then sinking funds, like I said earlier, I am planning on putting $415 towards sinking funds this month. So our total for our fixed expenses is $2,832.43. So taking our fixed expenses plus our variable expenses and subtracting it from our income means that we should be looking at a potential savings of $454.23. Now, I did already start the weekly check-ins because, on I mean, honestly, I should have already done week three. Maybe we'll do that on here, but really, I just wanted to catch you guys up on this video, and I really don't want to make this video too, too long, but I'm sure it's, <laughs> I'm sure it's already long enough, so maybe we'll just add it in there. So, for weekly check-ins, I'm just going to update you on the latest one. So far for groceries, we have 206.39 remaining. Household, we have 14.39 remaining. Eating out, we have 80.96 remaining. Pets, we have 55.52 remaining. And gas for the cars, we have 73.97 remaining. So we've actually done pretty good this month and I'm not mad about it. Now let's go through the transaction log. This is what I use to keep track of every single category that you see in our sinking funds. So on January 2nd for the house, I bought doorknobs and hinges. And that's because we're doing some uh, house upgrades. Like I said, we're painting and everything like that. So I ended up painting our doors, our interior doors and stuff. And I bought new knobs and hinges for that. So that came out of the house category. That was 85.40. Next up on January 2nd, we spent $63.74 in the house category. We went to Home Depot and we bought a circular saw for Ethan because he really wanted like the battery powered Ryobi one. Um, he had a battery powder powered one, I think maybe by Black & Decker and it really just, it wasn't that great. So we bought him a new one. On January 7th, we spent $57.81 on the house again. And that was just organization stuff from Walmart. So I actually did start up another YouTube channel called Hand Marie Cleans. And I've just, I really, over, over my week break, I started really cleaning, decluttering, and reorganizing everything. So that's where the organization comes in. Then for, and I can leave the link to that new um, YouTube channel down below in case you want to check that out. And then on January 16th, I paid a well now visit or well now bill for $35. So that came out of medical. So that was one of the bills that I paid. And then yesterday, Ethan and I went on a bowling date. So that came out of entertainment and that was $29.98. So I have one more to add to this and so let me grab a pen and we can add it in together. So just now before I started this video, so 122, I wrote a checkout for 
That was also for medical. And that was a copay. So that was my second bill. So this is where I wrote myself a note all trued up on 116. So that means that even this 415 is paid. So whatever we spend in our sinking funds, so at the end of the month, I'll add up everything that we spent and whatever this total comes out to be will be transferred back into our checking account from our savings account. And then I'll just double check that everything is still true to the numbers, that all of the numbers match and everything adds up. Um, and then next month I'll start how I actually do it. So for this month, this is after I had added in that 3000 and some odd dollars. So baby stayed at $1,066.77. We are adding in $20. Car maintenance still stayed at $678.65 and we're adding in $20. Christmas, I added in money to get it over, I think I added in maybe like $250 or $300 to get it out of the negative. So we're starting Christmas with 45 12 and we're adding in a hundred dollars clothing for ethan i added in money for him maybe i think i added in 50 dollars for each of us so he is actually starting with 178.67 and then this month we're adding in another 25 clothing for me added in 50 dollars so it's actually starting at 90.92 and adding in 25 this month Entertainment, I know I added in money, I just can't remember how much, but we're beginning with $163.76 and we're adding in another $30 this month. Gifts, again, I added in money. And when I say I added in money, it's from that $3,000. I just want to make that clear because adding in money before for the beginning and then adding money in this month was separate. So gifts I did add in money there. So it's starting at $216.39 and then we're adding in another $30 this month. House, we added in I think $2,500. So it's starting at $7,148.39 and so we will be adding in another $100. Medical, I added in money because I knew that I had bills coming in the mail. So we're starting at $117.07 and we're adding in another $15. Pets, I know I added in money because we got Millie spayed and I'm going to take that out of this category as well. So we are actually starting with $886.79 and we're adding in another $25. And then vacation, we do plan on hopefully going down and visiting my family in Florida. So I did add a little bit more money here, I think maybe $250. So it's actually starting with $1,205 and we're adding in another $25. So all of this adding adds up to $415, which is what you see in the sinking funds category in our fixed expenses in our regular budget. So with all of that being said, you guys are 100% caught up on my budget from December and January. And now the only other thing that we have to do is week three check-in. So I guess let's just hop right into it and start our week three. So first up is groceries. And we are starting with the 13th. So right here on this Saturday. But I don't see, and we're going to the 19th, but I don't see any green ones green expense trackers so we're gonna put in zero. Oh, you know i'm still trying to get used to getting back into this so that needs to be whited out because the remaining was supposed to be budgeted right here spent was zero so our remaining is going to be 206.39 i need to white this out and put 206.39 so I'm going to go through and put the remainings down here in the budget so I don't do that to any more of them. Oh, what is it? 55, 52, 
and $73.97. All right, next up is household, and again, I'm not seeing any light blue, which is normally what I would put our household expenses in, so we spent zero for that as well. So we still have $14.39 remaining. Eating out is like this dark purpley color. So we did have one and it was Subway for $19.42. So I'm going to check that off. $19.42 to know that I recorded it. So we're going to take the $80.96 and subtract out $19.42. So it is $61.00. 54 that we have remaining for the rest of the month and then pets is usually in a light purple color which we do have one and it is litter 3801 I actually started the pretty litter subscription and that's because it's about three to four dollars cheaper on pretty litter's site than it is when I buy it from Walmart so I started that subscription so we have 1751 remaining after that. And then gas for the cars is in like a tan color, which we do have one for my car, and that's 5021. Ethan will probably have to get gas. Let's see, he got gas almost two weeks ago, so he probably has another two weeks before he has to get gas again which is nice and then my jeep still has a half a tank of gas and in the colder weather it's actually been using more gas than electric and I think it's probably just because it's a hybrid so um the battery isn't as good as like what a full electric car is so it dies a lot quicker and because it still uses oil and fuel it needs to do like an oil and fuel refresh at least once a month so it will run through that until it hits like 200 miles where it runs through it's a little bit ridiculous actually um so i have to run through about 200 miles or drive the car straight for like two hours to get that fuel and oil refresh but I also do need to get an oil change so <laughs> that might be the issue right now too so I actually am burning a lot more fuel than what I normally would be so we do have 2376 remaining which at a half a tank of gas that I would probably take up all of that plus more for um my jeep for the end of this month so now i'm just going to take these remaining balances and put it in the budget because i don't want to make that mistake again for next week what i just did up here with the groceries um and honestly we are in really good shape oops 61.54 all right i gotta redo this one too redo this one and redo this one 17.51 and 23.76. The only ones that I'm really concerned about are obviously household pets and gas for the cars. I'm gonna see if I can stretch out the household one. We do need laundry detergent but we did just get some like Tide Pods from my mom so I don't think I definitely can stretch out the household budget to the end of the month and wait until next month to buy stuff pets is where I'm a little bit worried I know Lilo's food is coming the very beginning of February so that's fine litter we just got two bags in from pretty litter the other day so we're good on that we have one extra bag um, and then gas for the car that's the one that I would be really concerned about is when I have to fill up my Jeep um, but other than that, I mean, eating out to be $60, over $60 for the last week, that's really, really good. So I'm happy about that, and groceries over $200 to spend for this last week, I'm also really happy over that too. So I'm sorry that this video was so long, but I did want to update you on the December budget. 
I did want to update you on the January budget and get the week three check-in done. So getting all of that accomplished and filling you guys in on what's been going on and updating you guys on my budget, I feel so much better. And hopefully here's to the new year, to 2024, to budgeting really good and hopefully staying healthy and consistent. I love you guys. Thank you for sticking around, especially if you stayed this long. I really know that you're a true, dedicated subscriber and supporter of me if you stuck around this long, and I just appreciate you so, so much. And if you did stick around to the end of this video, please drop me down a heart in the comments because I really need to feel the love lately. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go, and I will see you next week for our week four check-in. Bye, guys. Thank you.